Good afternoon, class. I just wanted to make a video about chapter two. I'll just use the book. Um, it kind of it's a little bit easier just to use it and talk about it. So chapter two is called Analyzing Transactions: The Accounting Equation. So a couple of the uh, components of the book are going to be the accounting elements, the accounting equation, analyzing business transactions, the effects of transactions on the accounting equation, uh, the four financial statements, income statements, balance sheet. Uh, their statement of owner equity. There's also um, uh, there's one other, but uh, th on here, your book will only look at the three financial statements. Also, an overview of the accounting process. So let's take a look at the chapter. So some of the uh, learning objectives. These are the same ones that are in your book. Define the accounting elements. Construct the accounting equation. Analyze business transactions. Um, show the effects of business transactions on the accounting equation and then prepare and describe the purpose of a simple income statement, statement of owner's equity, and then the balance sheet. So, and then the last is define the three basic phases of the accounting process. So that's basically the learning objectives uh, pretty quickly. Um, as the chapter goes on, I'll explain those in more detail. So the elements of the accounting, um, elements of accounting, uh, it's pretty simple. It's a way, it's assets, liabilities and owner's equity. So whenever we take a look at accounting, um, some way to remember is A equals L plus OE, or yeah, assets plus liabilities equals um, owner's equity. So that's the simple accounting equation. Um, assets, uh, assets are pretty simple. They're um, cash, merchandise, uh, furniture, any fixtures, machinery, buildings, and land. Um, accounts receivable is also um, an asset, so you can read a little bit more about that. Uh, accounts receivable are definitely whenever people uh, use credit, so that's assets. Liabilities, um, that means that someone owes you money. Well, not owes you money. That means you owe someone money. Um, those are liabilities. They can be um, things that you can pay for cash. Uh, a, a big example of those are accounts payable and notes receivable. Those are big um, liabilities. Um, it basically, if you take make an account or you you own people on credit, so uh, those are like if you take out a big note whenever you buy a building or any asset, things like whenever you purchase an asset. So owner's equity, that's uh, also um, net worth and capital. That's how much money that the owner puts into a business. So I'll get into that a little bit more. But if you if you start a business and um, you, you invest $40,000 cash, then it'll go into your cash account, but on the other side of the accounting equation, your owner equity will go in as $40,000 of equity in there, of capital. So that's pretty simple. Um, let's see, let me see if there's anything further down. No, nothing really on that section. Um, the accounting equation, I mentioned this earlier, Assets equal liabilities plus owner equity. I'll zoom in on that a little bit. So there's the accounting equation right there. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. Um, let's see, some of the important components of that. So I talked about $60,000 um, in cash. Um, so uh, the way I look at this, if there's a $5,400 of liability here, someone borrowed money and then they put in $55,000 of their own, so then your assets have to equal your liabilities plus owner and equity. Uh, let's see, some other things. Um, in, in here, the book talks about people doing stuff. So there, uh, there's a plus 10,000 right here, an asset was increased. So someone purchased a liability here. Oh, well, they use a the liability to pay for that asset right here. And that's uh, $3,000 uh, probably on credit. And then they invested 7,000 of their own money. Uh, let's see, so that'll be, um, some examples of the accounting equation. Keep in mind, accounting is basic algebra, college algebra. As if you can add and subtract, uh, divide, multiply, accounting is definitely one of those, um, I guess, uh, fields that you can follow. But I mean, it does. It, you, it is take. It does take a lot of work. So just keep that in mind. But it's 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 pretty basic math. It's a lot of systems involved. So analyze analyzing business transactions. So these are these are the, the 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 questions that you have to ask yourself. What happened? Make sure and you understand the event has taken place, which uh, accounts are affected. Identify the accounts that are affected. 
classify these accounts as assets, uh, liabilities, or owner's equity. So uh, you always ask yourself how it impacts the financial equation. How is the account equation affected? Determine which accounts have increased or decreased and make certain the accounting equation remains in balance after the transaction has been entered. So I'll go into some examples here in a bit. So effects of transactions on the accounting equations. So whenever we get into this, we, we start looking at what happened. I think in this example right here, it says William opened a bank account with a deposit of 5,000 for business. Um, so then $5,000 of cash went in. Uh, he used, it goes to owner equity, so his cash goes into the business. Here's another one, purchase of an ash, asset. So for some reason this isn't loading. Uh, let's see what we can do. Well, that's not gonna load. Uh, purchase of an asset on account. It's not showing on there for some reason. Let me see if I can refresh it. I'll go back and then let me go forward. Oh, there we go, perfect, it loaded. So I'm sure you have these issues as well. So he purchased, um, on here you can tell, he used cash to make a purchase, so the cash was uh, decreased. But don't forget, all that did with all the asset, um, he increased the asset by two thousand. So that only affects it on the left side. Over here, it says purchase of an asset on account. So this one, the asset was purchased for eighteen hundred dollars, but then they used a, a um, they used an account payable. So they they paid. They need to pay eighteen hundred dollars. So, but notice how down at the bottom it says 6,800, 6,800, so those still balance. So they made a payment on the loan. So cash decreases for 600, um, liability decreased for 600, so then the balance is 1,200. But notice the accounting equation still balances down right there on the bottom. Okay, so let's take a look at the next section. Uh, expanding the accounting equation. So revenues, expenses, and withdrawals. So this, uh, completely goes underneath the owner's equity. Revenues, expenses, and withdrawals. That goes, your revenues are money that you make for your business. Uh, they can be delivery fees, consulting fees, rent revenue, things of that nature, interest revenue, um, expenses. Those are anything that you pay out for your business. Examples are rent, salary, supplies consumed, taxes, Sometimes you can do interest uh, that you paid on, on things of the, um, I don't know, on your accounts payable, things of that nature. Uh, let's see. So example, your revenues, how if you, you, net income or net loss is when you take all of, add up all your revenues minus all your expenses. And if you, if it's a positive, then it's called net income. On the other side, if you have your revenues and you take take minus your expenses, you can still have a net loss. Now that doesn't mean you have no money. It just means you didn't make a you didn't make a, you didn't realize a profit is all that's saying because this will actually end up closing out into your owner's equity. All that means is your owner equity, the capital you put to start your business, ends up um, covering that two thousand dollars. So accounting periods are very different. Um, I do sit on the board up at Navajo Agricultural Product Industry, and our accounting period um, runs, uh, they call it a fiscal year, and it, we just actually, a couple weeks ago, we take a look at our ending, um, our fiscal year ended back, I think, uh, July or something like that, so, but we went, ended up closing out the year. So withdrawals, a withdrawal is whenever you take money out of your business, um, you can do a cash withdrawal if you want to take some money out, it's usually called a a capital withdrawal, like if you need some money, you need to check out. Let's say you take out a thousand dollars. Well, you deduct a thousand dollars from cash, and then you take also deduct out a thousand dollars from your owner equity. So, owner's equity, uh, decrease expenses, drawing that draw means to take out and increase our revenue or owner's investment. If you put money back into your investment, that'd be as a cash, and then then. Um, It'll also increase your owner's equity. So for some reason, this one isn't loading, but I'll, let me try the plus sign, see if that'll work. Okay, oh, oh it's loading, so you, if you did that, that would definitely help you. I guess I don't have flash loaded. Um, so I'm sure you, you all have these issues as well. So let's take a look at the next section. So effects of revenue, expenses, and withdrawal transactions on accounting equation. So delivery revenues earned in cash. So delivery, we earn cash, if they say cash, you have to put in your cash account of 2100 
Now you you realize the revenue of 2100. Realize revenue means oh I got the money. Okay, so sometimes though you can put one on you you may have have done a a um, account receivable. Now keep in mind on your books you put on there that you put an account receivable. So and we'll talk a little bit more about that. So this one you paid rent for the month. So you, you of course you're going to pay cash with it. So you you put minus a thousand dollars, but also. Over here, you go add a thousand dollars because this comes out as an as an expense, okay? And then transaction, you paid a phone bill again. Your phone bill was a hundred dollars, and then as an expense, what the reason why it's a plus is because it's adding up, okay? Because your revenues minus your your expenses, it'll still balance, okay? Delivery revenues earned, so you you gain money. So, but notice how this one was on on, uh, but it says cash is not received. So if the cash is not received, then you have to put it under accounts receivable. So that was for twenty four hundred. If you this, we're kind of getting into the double entry accounting. So uh, two thousand twenty four hundred dollars. That's one side. On the other side, you have to add as a revenue as well. So notice ninety six hundred ninety six hundred. Our accounting equation still balances. Purchase of supplies is another example. Your supplies, you use cash. Now you deduct eighty dollars from cash. But your supplies, that goes in $80 as well. So on the left side, things of that nature, all we did was uh, the account switched and changed. The, uh, the money moved basically from cash to supplies. So cash received from prior sale on account. Now what that means is that uh, we, had, we had an account receivable earlier for $2,400. So we did plus $1,900, but we have to minus it from here because there are Customer paid us $1,900, so we go plus on this side. Next transaction, purchase of an asset on making a partial payment. So the what we did was we uh, minus 300, but 700 delivery equipment. So then 7 minus 300, then our amount that we end up paying is, uh, or we put on uh, account payable, or probably a note receivable and actually it's not it's an account payable so it's seven hundred dollars and again notice a ten thousand three hundred ten thousand three hundred it still balances so payment of uh, insurance insurance now insurance is typically a prepaid you minus seven hundred dollars in cash but don't forget you're putting this still an asset we haven't expensed it out yet expense means that we put it over here on our expense column so we haven't used it so that's why it goes in notice right there it says prepaid let me see if I can zoom in. See, it says prepaid there. That prepaid means that um, we prepaid probably for you for to a couple of months. Oh, right here it says seven months was paid. Okay. Payment of wages now, we're, whenever we pay wages, that's an expense. So we paid, uh, look, it says we paid $1,650. So that comes out of our cash, and our expense comes out here as $1,650. So then 4500 minus $2,750, that would be our net income but total right now we're at 8650 and 8650 so we're still balancing here's another transaction deliveries made for cash on an account so um, account receivable we got nine hundred dollars in cash and then twenty six hundred dollars was made on credit but the total revenue that we gained was thirty five hundred so we had to combine the two what they said was they paid nine hundred dollars in cash and then they finance the rest of it Financing means that they put it on credit, and typically, if we uh, if we charge them interest, we can um, usually they say net fifteen. If you you can get a discount if you pay within fifteen days, but so we'll get into that probably towards the end of this book, or you might even get in into accounting two hundred. So those are some examples. So withdrawal of cash from a business. So um, <clears throat> let's say you do, you took three thousand dollars out of your business. Well, you have to do an owner withdraw. So there's your 3,000. Notice every one of these transactions, there's always two entries. That's where we talk about double entry accounting, okay? Again, 9150, 9150. The equation still balances. The nice thing about accounting is always has to balance. If it doesn't balance, you gotta figure out where you made the mistake, okay? So it's definitely a system that is self-checking. There are checks and balances in there. So here's a summary of all the transactions that we just went through. And they kind of list them, 44. Our balance in our cash account is 470. Our accounts receivable is 3,100. Our supplies is 80 bucks. 
Our prepaid insurance is still 700. Our delivery equipment is at 4,800. Our liability is still equal. So we still owe people in, uh, nine, $1,900. Our, the difference between five and 300 is uh, our owner equity. So our equity in that account will be $200. Our revenue is equal to $8,000 and our expenses equal $2,750. So $8,000 minus $2,750, approximately maybe $5,000 or so would be our uh, would be our um, our net income or net profit. So that's kind of what it looks like. Oh, nope. End of this section. So let's take a look at the next section. Um, so financial statements, um, again, in... in, in Chapter one, we talked about the purpose of uh, um, accounting. You know, it's, it's to get documents ready for the users. Okay, so again, um, looking at uh, prepare and describe the purpose of simple income statement. Um, well, that's kind of hit, summary of financial statement. So here's what happens. Assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. That, from what we just did there, that's how we would determine all of our our transactions, our net, our income statement is right over here. Oh, you know what? I just remembered the fourth uh, uh, financial uh, financial uh, statement is a uh, statement of cash flow or or ca cash statement, cash flow statement, statement of cash flow, which is not uh, in this book. It's not covered. But when you get to accounting 200, they'll, you'll look at the four financial statements. So your owner's equity will be listed in this section, which. Uh, um, and then our balance sheet is the entire thing. So notice it says income statement on here. Well, um, all of our all of our our delivery fees of eight thousand minus all of our expenses come up to there. So our net income or net profit is five thousand two fifty. Notice this low goes down into our closes out into our statement of owner's equity. So because we had an income, we put it as five thousand two hundred fifty. We started with 5,000, remember our initial investment, we took a withdrawal of 3,000. Well, these, if I went 52.50 minus 3,000, because it says left withdrawals right there, then I'm gonna go 22.50. But our owner equity, we have to combine our 5,000 plus 22,500 or 22.50. So our owner, our owner equity would be now 7,250. Now notice there's a big old red arrow here. And this closes out into our owner's equity of 7250 Again, all of our assets, 470 cash, 3100 receivables, supplies, pay, uh, prepaid insurance, and our delivery equipment. So 9150 and our account payable 1900 and our 7250 from our owner equity equals 9150 So again, double underline both of them, do your name, what income statement it is, and then the date. Same thing, name, in, uh, which statement it is, and then for the month ending, and right up here for our income statement as well. Company name, title of in, the statement, and then for the month ending, whatever, okay? So a couple of um, the headings, I just went over that. Name of company, title of the statement, and the time period covered or the date of the statement. Um, guidelines, so there are guidelines right there. You can go ahead and read those. I won't read them to you. I don't like to be read to you, so I'll let you read those. I just wanna go through and explain this. Uh, let's see. Oh, learning keys, income statement, uh, profit and loss statement, operating statement. There's all sorts of things that that can be called. So revenues, income statement, revenues, 500. Notice in revenues, oh, whenever you create your, uh, income statement and all your um, I guess what do they call your financial statement the top one the top number will have a dollar sign notice how and then underneath the double underline under goes underneath the very balance net income five minus four is a hundred dollars net here's another income same example five hundred dollars but you have more expenses so that's called a net loss net income net loss okay keep those in mind let's see what's next Ooh, let's see Statement of owner's equity, um, all that's showing is, um, this is showing how much equity we have. That, that tracks how much money we've invested and how many withdrawals we've had. And then again, our um, net income or net loss closes out into our, our, our um, statement of owner's equity. So then again, two underline 
dollar sign on the very first one, dollar sign on the first one. This is just as a regular underline. Sorry, I mean to bump the camera. Let's see the balance sheet. Okay, balance sheet that definitely shows us uh, what we're what what our what our cash position and everything like that. They also call it statement of financial position, statement of financial condition. So, those that's how you would explain it, and that's where you'll list your assets and see if they, if they equal your liabilities and owner's equity. All right, let's see. Again, overview of the accounting process input, processing, output uh, right here. This should give us a really nice um, example. I saw it earlier, but for some reason it's not loading. Okay, come on, let's see. Let's see, maybe my internet's slow. Oh, I guess it's not gonna load. But anyway, it was a system and it was just showing your input, uh, your processing, and then what happens. And again, uh, we talked about accounting, and the purpose of it is is for your to create financial statements so end users or with or people within a company can use those uh, uh, the data, the financial numbers to uh, make decisions. It's all for decision making. That's what accounting is used for. Let's see. So these are the learning objectives. Uh, we just we went through all of this. Um, if you get through this in the book, go ahead and and um, take a look at that. But um, I'll do a follow-up video to show this demonstration problem. So um, enjoy, and I'll, I'll post homework here in a bit. Okay, thank you.